So graphs are another case where we are going to look at a series of recursive algorithms. And it's probably useful to stop and think about why iterative algorithms work well in certain cases and why recursive algorithms work well in certain cases. So let's think about the, the types of data structures that we've had good luck with exploring iteratively. So one example is an array. So here's my friendly array. And here, you know, I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, every spot has an index. And one of the things I want you to see about this data structure is it's linear. So at every point, there's like a sequence of, of spots, but at every, as I go through the array, there's only kind of like one next item to go to. Um, same thing with the linked list. So we looked at linked lists too. So here's my linked list. And I've got nodes that are linked together. This is one of the ways that we implemented a list, right? It's a series of nodes. And maybe this is my last one, so it's null. But in the case of a linked list, I still have this linearity. I'm not, it's not implemented the same way. It's not implemented as a chunk of memory with an index. But in every case, there's one next reference that I follow. So linear data structures like these are a good fit for iter iteration. In both these cases, I can write a loop to go through the array. I can write a loop to go through the list. And that's really, I would argue, the right way to do it. OK, what about some of the data structures that we've seen that don't work so well with iterative approaches? Um, well, they're nonlinear, right? Big reveal. Trees. You know, every node can have, even in a binary tree, one, two, or zero children. And so when I go here, when I start at the root, it's not clear where to go next. I have two places I need to, to traverse to. Unlike with an array, it was like, go to the next index. With the list, go to the next item. With the tree, I've got two choices, and it branches out more as I go on. And so what recursion does, it allows me to traverse this in a very nice way without having to keep track of really complicated state. There are ways to use iteration to go through trees and graphs. I don't want to make you think that it's impossible, but it's really the branching structure of these data structures that makes them less amenable to iteration. And of course, graphs are even worse, right? In the sense that in a graph, I don't even have a natural starting point. At least with the tree, I knew where to start with the root node. In a graph, it's like, where, you know, where, where's, the, where's the front, right? There is no front, right? You know, and, and I, I can make any number of pretty graphs with different features, but there's never really a sense that there's a node that's the first node in a graph. The root node is typically the node that we explore first in a tree. In a graph, any one of these five nodes could be the quote unquote root node or the start node or whatever. It's totally arbitrary. And so I can't even pick a place to start. And then, of course, from any node in the graph, it branches out to multiple different places, including places that I've seen already potentially. So these data structures where, you know, rather than just a line, right, they actually take up space. And that's, you know, maybe just a little bit of a proxy to how to think about them. But they, you know, the number of options I have actually keeps increasing as I go through, um, through, the, through the structure, right? Unlike these linear data structures like a linked list or an array or any type of list where I have a series of items in order and my loop is just going through those items in the order there in the list, there's really, there's also no well-defined order necessarily for a tree or a graph. We can make up one, but we can't even agree on what node is first in the graph, right? Um, with the tree, it's the root node, but then do you do left child first or right child first? That's just a convention. You could do either one, but we could pick, we can make up a rule, but it's sort of arbitrary, right? And I could twist the tree around and then everything would be out of order. Um, so for these where there's no real well-defined notion of order, um, and in the graph, not even a clear place to start, this is a hint sometimes that you might want to explore more of a recursive algorithm.